All right, so SCADA and OT operational technology is a hot topic and I really haven't found any videos that teaches you how to operate or fortigate in a SCADA environment. Now 7.2 has more features when it comes to OT. This will be the very first part, but there will be more upcoming videos on that topic. Let's start. All right, so in ORI we have the Purdue model that is, uh, it's not similar to the OSI layer. Uh, it, it differentiates between the different levels, the different control levels, the uh, uh, field level, which is level zero, which has all the sensors, and level one, which is the control level, which has all the controls, the PLC or RTUs, and there's the supervisory level, which has the historian, the HMI, the human machine interface. That's the machine that actually um, grabs all the information that the PLC gets from the sensors and delivers it to the HMI. Let's talk about uh, the different levels and how we actually use our FortiGate to protect them. Now, we will look at two parts the first one is taking the different devices the asset uh the assets that you deal with and uh assign them to their specific role in their purdue in the purdue model the second thing will be to play around with them uh using the ot view so let's start the very first thing that we will do is to move to uh, system this is not a feature that is by default available you will need to enable it in uh, feature list system feature visibility just enable the operational technology and once you do so we will move to the security fabric and in the security fabric we have the assets so let's just press on the assets and here we can see all the different devices that are connected to our FortiGate. Now you can play around with the columns and you will do so just right uh, click on one of the columns. Just right click, that's right. And you will see that you also have the Purdue model that you can enable. So let's just do that. And I'll just assign the devices, the PLCs, the HMI, the uh, historian, the engineering station to their different uh, Purdue level. You have an edit icon next to the uh, different levels. It By default, the 48 is in level two. Now, uh, play around, just assign level one to the different PLCs, uh, level two or level three in some cases to the historian, to the engineering station, and so on. Once you do so, you will have all of your SCADA devices assigned uh, by the Purdue model. Let's just continue and do so for some of the other devices. All right. Now, the next thing, once you assigned the different devices, is again move to security fabric. Let's just assign the third one. All right. Now let's move again to the security fabric and uh, if you look upstairs you will see that you have uh, the OT view. Now the OT view actually shows you um, the different devices by the position that you have just assigned to them by the Purdue model so you can see in level three that we have different devices that actually are the supervisory devices we can see our 40 gate at level two if you press the unlock view you can move around the devices uh, 
any way that you want so if you want to move uh plcs to level one or if you want to move hmi uh to level three you can do so by using the ot view and unlocking the different views all right so that is all for the first part you have learned how to assign devices using the purdue model how to play around with them uh, we will look at the different segmentations we will look at different vlans on your scala network we will also look at specific ips signatures that will deal with the uh, different threats that scala networks has